Welcome to Spectacle on Television Nigeria. I am your host, Daniel Hatai. Welcome to a spectacle program on television, Nigerian. Today, of course, we'll be discussing about the tribunal judgment in Benue State. Or Tom wins from tribunal uh, in Benue State yesterday. Yesterday, we discussed uh, a lot of trends about uh, incumbent victories across the country. And uh, we've had one from a uh, faraway Benue State. We'll be looking into that. And... Uh, it will be opened uh, for audience participation. So uh, the numbers are there on your screen, and we'll try as much as possible to reach uh, the, the opposition party candidate or his uh, media aide, We're talking about uh, Emmanuel, uh, Barista Emmanuel Jime, or his deputy, Dr. Samo De, MNI. And uh, we'll do as much to reach the PDP candidate. What do they feel about this? A particular judgment from the tribunal. Uh, we we'll also reach, uh, try as much as possible to reach the governor's aide to talk to us on spectacle today, uh, what they feel about the tribunal and whether the opposition, the APC in the state will be heading to uh, the appeal court uh, or not. Stay tuned. I am your host, Daniel Atai. Shortly, I'll be with you. Welcome to Spectacle on Television Nigeria. I am your host, Daniel Atai. Uh, welcome back. With me in the studio to look into this uh, particular verdict uh, and the declaration of the governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom, is uh, uh, Barrister uh, Sivan Uzope Esquire, the president, of, uh, I mean, the spokesperson of the Patriotic Nigerian Youth uh, Against Thank Corruption you. and uh, Injustices. You are welcome to Spectacle. Thank you. And of course, like I said, the numbers to reach us with are displayed on your screen already. And for the sake of the vision impaired ones, you can dial uh, plus 234-81-3701-5949 or plus uh, 234-7054-32-7616. Uh, Mr. Silvanos, yesterday we discussed uh, about uh, incumbent victories across the, the country. Uh, and uh, we've had another one from Benue State uh, in the person of uh, Governor Samuel Otom. Samuel Otom was initially declared winner uh, in the gubernatorial election, uh, I think uh, March, and uh, a rerun was, was declared, and again he won from the rerun, and uh, uh, it landed them, the opposition, in the tribunal. And the tribunal just uh, declared him winner again yesterday. What is your take about this uh, incumbent? You know, what is all about incumbency? Well, it is good. We commend the APC, the PDP in their respective states. We had a lost election for taking advantage of our laws, of our uh, uh, jurisprudential processes to ventilate their anger. Okay. We thank them for being democratic enough to file petitions before tribunals mm -hmm. challenging the victory of uh, whoever won the election in the states. But a number of issues must be looked into if we will dissect this very ugly trend of incumbents retaining their position even when the elections we are mad with fraught with irregularities. 
Okay. Let uh, me first. Okay, I will call you back. Like we said, we will be picking calls concurrently so that people will react from the state. I think we have our first caller and our place. Uh, don't be angry. We will get back to you. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. We are live. You are live on a spectacle program on Television Nigerian, and uh, we are discussing our town's victory yesterday from the tribunal. Okay. Uh, my name is Zebi Arnold of Bande. Okay. Let's have your yeah. take. Uh, 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 Hello? Let's have your take on the tribunal verdict. Autumn wins again. Is it a congratulation or what? Uh, what, what? What happened yesterday was not a winning at all. I bet he won. The, the, the tribunal have declared him uh, the winner of the, uh, of the election. Yes, yeah, I'm hearing you. I said the tribunal have declared him the winner of the election. Yeah. So what when are you the saying? The tribunal did. We saw that coming. What happened? What played out in court yesterday wasn't a surprise to us at all. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Why is it not a surprise? It is not a surprise because he heard everything that happened. How money has changed hands. He said it's Arnold of yes, Bande. Arnold of Bande. Hello? I'm hearing you. We're hearing you. You are live. Here yeah, in Benio State, judgment has been for sale, starting from the state assembly election, uh, election tribunal. Uh, Mr. Arnold? Yes. You are live on air, and your assertions are at your discretion, okay? Now, what, what we are looking into is Autumn wins at tribunal. What is your take yes, on it? Autumn wins at tribunal. Listen, yeah. uh, the, the petitioner, a uh, right on Emmanuel Jimé, yeah. in court, the tribunal said the petitioner was unable to prove that there were irregularity and non compliance with the electoral act and rule and guideline for the 2019 general election which is not true at all as a matter of fact the petitioner called witnesses 59 witnesses out of 200 and, and 200 witnesses the petitioner called 59 witnesses who were all cross-examined we are talking Hello. about PW1 to 50, 50 what? PW1 to PW1. That is petitioner's yes. witness. Plenty of witness. Yes. You are calling from where right now, please? I'm calling from Benway State. My court is to be precise. Okay. Now, how can you say in a case where you have smart card with data from smart card reader? Data from voter register, certified two copies of documents from INEC showing clearly. And these documents were tendered through witnesses, and the petitioner was able to prove through the witnesses that were cross examined, as well as through the documents that, that, that were tendered, beyond reasonable doubt that there was non-compliance to anyway, the anyway uh, Arnold yes uh, others are on the line and we are analyzing this in the studio uh, we yeah. the, the tribunal chairman declared yesterday that those documents are irrelevant documents and it how has no say, no justifiable how evidence say, uh, how, yeah how can you say Voter card register, data from smart card reader, and electoral uh, resource sheet are irrelevant to a petition. The, the guideline, the guideline, the, the guideline and regulation for the 2019 general election made uh, accreditation. Accreditation. All right, maybe you have to call us back. We'll try in as much as possible to reach the uh, APC uh, 
uh, uh, organizing a bill, uh, press secretary to tell us with authority if they are heading to uh, this appeal court or. Of course, we are heading to the appeal court after after, after the judgment yesterday. Are you speaking as a, are you the press outside, and he made it very clear that he thank God that. Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm there. I, I, you are. You are speaking as an authority that uh, the APC. Yeah, yeah, the deputy okay, you are and putting the deputy governor, Doctor Samuel, uh, Doctor Sam, uh, Sam Odi. Doctor Sam Odi, MNI. Okay. He said to press men outside the courtroom yesterday, immediately after the start judgment, that he thanked God that the chairman of the tribunal said there are two layers to the to the to the. Uh, to the uh, uh, struggle, and that uh, he and his uh, his uh, principal, uh, Honorable uh, Emmanuel Jimmy, are going to challenge the efficacy of the ruling. All right. At, 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 at Supreme Court. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, That's uh, a wonderful take from you, Arnold Obande, calling from Benue. And uh, we've, we've uh, documented your take. Uh, we'll try as much as uh, uh, to reach uh, the governor's side. Uh, you heard him. He said they are heading to that the deputy governor candidate, uh, Samode, uh, on behalf of his principal, said that uh, the tribunal chairman made it clear that there are so many layers to this uh, uh, very verdict, and they will be heading to. Uh, the appeal court. Yes, you know, the appeal court is there when you're dissatisfied with the judgment of the tribunal. What you do as a democrat, as uh, somebody who abides by the rules of engagement, the rule of law is to uh, appeal. But one of the one of the reasons why we will continue to witness failures in <coughs> Austin. Uh, incumbents from power through the uh, uh, tribunal is because you know in law there are technicalities okay. even the greatest lawyer will fall prey might not do his homework very well okay. taking into consideration that elec election matters okay. are mainly forensic issues I, I think that we, needs forensic analysis yes. to gather much evidence that is the court will uh, that will persuade the court persuasive evidence all right that we, we have the the press secretary of the apc on the line right now okay. uh, in the person of james Ogoga. hello hello uh good afternoon you are live on spectacle tvn good afternoon good afternoon are you watching us from where from macrody benet street Okay, we are discussing the topic of Tom wins at tribunal. Uh, is the APC heading to uh, a peak court? Surely, what transpired at the tribunal cannot is not a direct interpretation of what really happened at the post. Okay, so we are for, headed for the tribunal already. Okay, for we report, are going okay, to interrogate that victory to ensure that the right thing is done. Okay. Uh, the, you Do you are think not... there are different uh, approach the the lawyers of the petitioners will take in persuading the the justices of the appeal court to differ from the decision of the trial court? Exactly. That is what that is what we are looking at. You remember that even at the start of the case, there were a lot of applications and motions that the tribunal had tried to suppress, but we were able to find just. Uh, to, to get judgment in our favor at the appeal court. So we still believe that the appeal court will interpret this judgment differently and we will have favor from it. Are you aware that the appeal will take up to uh, three months to look at the technicalities involved from the tribunal judgment at uh, uh, the first sitting? We are looking at the duration of about two months for the appeal to look at it. But you don't think that uh, since almost all the, the points of law raised by the lawyers of the petitioners were dismissed for lacking merits 
that the appeal court might follow suit? I don't think so. If what the tribunal says as being lacking in merit may be seen differently by the appeal court, so we still have confidence that the appeal court will give a different verdict from what we had at the tribunal yesterday. All right. Uh, uh, do you think that the preparation and the momentum of the APC towards this tribunal case uh, was enough? We had proved we proved our case beyond reasonable doubt, and the PDP, on the other hand, had no defense at all than to align with what we presented. But if you look at the judgment, for those of us who were there physically present, you will understand that the. Tribunal was more interested in defending the respondent than treating the case of the petitioner. So <laughs> the judgment seemed totally compromised if you listen to it where it was passed. So we still have confidence that the, the appellate court will give a different verdict to that. Okay. And uh, uh, what is the party you are speaking on behalf of the APC, isn't it? Yes. And uh, uh, the, the, your party chairman, uh, Comrade Abayaro, uh, what is his take on this? Can, can you speak on his behalf? I am speaking the mind of the party that we're going to appeal this judgment. It does not represent the truth of this matter. So we're going to seek for that merit that the tribunal could not find. We are confident that that merit will be found at that P and even up to the Supreme Court. The fortunate thing is that this is a case that has up to three layers to be tested. So we are going to test the validity of this judgment at the appeal court and even move up to the Supreme Court because we know we have a valid case. Okay, for now, is it congratulations to Governor Tom from you? No, we can't congratulate him for sitting on a stolen mandate until the Supreme Court truly certifies that he won the election. As long as that is not done, then we APC cannot congratulate Governor Samuel Otong. We okay. see him as sitting on a stolen mandate. Okay. Uh, and the election is by the corner in Benue State. What do you have to say about that? Is the APC ready for the election, the local government polls? We are still weighing our option because we do not have confidence in the Benue State Independent Electoral Commission. One, the commission doesn't have the independence. In fact, we feel that the independent is moved from that name because they lack that. Why are they saying this? Before BSEC came out to announce the date for this election, the governor had gone ahead to usurp the power of the commission to declare the date he intends to commit and to conduct the election. It is not in the power of the state governor to tell us when he will conduct local government elections. It is the duty of BSEC. What he needed to have done was to mobilize the tech to go ahead and do that. But he went ahead, fixed the date, and only brought in the tech to fall in line with what he is doing. So if you check very well, there are glaring indications that this election will not be free and fair. But we are still consulting with stakeholders of the party. For now, we have not arrived at a concrete decision. At the level of the state executive committee, the people had agreed that, well, let's go ahead and participate even if we don't win, fine. But we, are, we still have one layer. We want to hold our state caucus uh, meeting to determine whether we will participate in the election or not because we are very sure that the election has been compromised. All right. It means uh, you, if you do not participate in the election, are you heading to court for interpretation of what the governor have just done? Well... It depends. For now, we are more concerned about the gubernatorial election that we were rigged out deliberately, and the tribunal has again connived to give the governor victory. We are more committed to pursuing this matter. And the local government election, we might decide to boycott the entire process. But if we boycott, it means we are not taking anybody to court. Whatever happens, let it be. But we're still looking at it. If you look at it, they already the state government, the Benue State House of Assembly, which is just an appendage of Benue State Government House, as it is now, because the speaker is entirely 
answerable to the governor to a point that he undermines his own function as leader of the legislature in the state. One, they have uttered the timetable for the time frame uh, for Mr. conduct uh, of local uh, government uh, elected is due to the three months. Mr. Uh, James Onguga, yes. I, I think Hello? we'll leave that to the judiciary to interpret whether... Uh, uh, and yeah. that is what I'm saying, that even at that, there is a lot that we can explore. All Legally, right. we can explore that too, because they have adjusted the timetable to two months, rather than the three months which conforms with the Electoral Act. So we are still looking at it, but honestly, we are not too passionate about the local government All right. elections for now. All right, Th thank you for your take on this issue. Uh, time is not our friend, and others are queuing to uh, to join us. we we'll, we'll we're expecting a call from the governor's uh, chief press secretary, Mr. Teve Akasi, probably to give us his take on this tribunal verdict uh, from the angle of the PDP. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you have heard the press secretary of the APC, Benue State, and his take that uh, they will be held into the court, the, the appeal court, and uh, they as well may jettison the proposed local government polls slated for 30th of November uh, in uh, 2019. Uh, this issue is what you I make think of it? from uh, what the chief, uh, the public secretary of the party in Benoist the said, mm -hmm. they don't even, they are not sure of victory at the appeal court. They are not sure. Because what he said is that seems they are not they are ready as well. The, the, that they are prepared to go to the Supreme Court. You are mm -hmm. going into an appeal in the Court of Appeal. You have not even started the appeal process. You are now saying you want to uh, you even go up to the extent. No, I think he said they, they will go to any extent, okay. even if the appeal did not okay, If that is what it means. Judgment. Uh, and what, what is your thing? The, should, they re, should they relax and no, allow the governor is, to, to continue they, they his should, work? They should explore all the channels established by the law in recovering the mandate if they believe truly and they have evidence to back it up that the mandate was indeed stolen but one of the reasons why it will be very difficult is because of the time the constitution gives mm. the limitation period because if you are dissatisfied with the outcome of an election in nigeria especially federal elections you must file a, 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 a petition before the tribunal within 40 days okay. and we are talking of very sensitive issues like the card readers the ballot papers which m needs forensic experts to analyze the data so that it will become a, pro a, 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 a persuasive evidence before the tribunal so we know that in the tribunal they don't give verdict on may uh, a number of witnesses that I presented 500 num uh, witnesses they don't what they check is the probative value of the ed ev uh, evidence produced coupled with the candor and the miano of the lawyer presenting the evidence okay that is one one reason why the incumbents are retaining power there is no enough time for these lawyers and these experts to gather enough evidence that will unseat the incumbents. Secondly, our judiciary is not independent enough to make bold decisions. When, what I mean by bold decisions, decisions that will be made in re with recourse to uh, res judicata, which means that justice must be done no matter whose horse is God. Mm -hmm. We have not reached that extent as a nation. We are still, we will still have a nascent democ uh, democracy coupled with an a, a highly dependent judiciary. A judiciary that is financially dependent on the executive. The appointment is by the executive. In fact, we saw how the, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, who is the head of the judiciary, was uh, uh, unilaterally dismissed by the President without recourse to the National Assembly. So this will make the members of the, the bench jittery of um, uh, taking bold decisions that affects the incumbent. Two, then thirdly, we, we in, in the courts, it's difficult to, to prove these cases within the number of days. Like, it, we have 180 days for every uh, uh, case in the tribunal 
to be adjudicated upon. And this number of days might not be enough for the petitioners to bring up their cases in a way that the judge will be convinced. Okay. You understand? Mm. So these are the issues, the, what, some of the reasons why we see the incumbents coming back. But when we have a president that has the political will to change things, to turn things around, like when Yeradua came in 2007, he admitted himself that the election that brought him to power was fraught with irregularities. He did not just admit, he took pragmatic steps to correct that in the future. The first thing he did was to inaugurate the Muhammad, just Muhammad Wise le, uh, uh, Committee on Electoral Reform. And I'm very surprised that subsequently that Gulu Akwebele Jonathan and now President Muhammad Buhari have not done anything to implement the resolution submitted by that electoral, Muhammad Wise led electoral reform. Secondly, because right, Yeradua, uh, okay. we have the CPS on the line uh, to the governor of Benue State, uh, Mr. Tevi Akasi. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Hello, good afternoon, Mr. Tevi. Oh, we lost him there, and he could do well to call us back uh, if he can. So as I was saying, yes. you... Do, do you think, uh, are, are you saying that uh, that electoral reform should be, you know, uh, uh, submitted and looked into? It has been submitted, but it has been... That is what we... we that's one of the problems of this country. We lack continuity in governance. Okay. When I come to power, I try as much as possible to kill your ideas and bring my... There is no continuity. That is one of the problems. That reform has been allowed to uh, uh, waste. And again, uh, 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 we see under Yeradua some governors of the PDP, about seven of them, we are removed from power because they had the political will to allow the judiciary, allow the judiciary to do things within their own uh, discretion. There was no dictation. We, even when uh, P2B was installed in 2007 against uh, PDP's Dr. Chris Uba. He allowed that. We saw in, in, in those states when Oshomole was returned. So these things has not happened after the demise, okay. unfortunate demise of Yaradwa. And also, the la last bill submitted to President Mohamed Buhari by the Saraki led 80th Senate could have, would have done justice to most of these, uh, these are our electoral uh, uh, epileptic election in Nigeria, not epileptic, uh, uh, um, imperfect election. electoral process. Uh, you said we are nursing and we are uh, growing, we are coming We are up. growing, but we ought to have passed this stage. That bill has a lot in it that will uh, 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 prep our election for uh, perfection. But the Buhari led presidency, as you who will uh, recognize, is there the anything in the bill in that reform that? Uh, Incumbent should not contest election. They should, you know, step aside if they are aspiring for you know, any political is, office. You know, it's, it's four years. The constitution is clear in section one, uh, uh, three, five or so. You you have uh, four years. Yes. And that your four years, you'll be in power when election. There's, there should not be vacuum in power. Okay. The 24 hours vacuum is not allowed. Oh, okay. And uh, do you think that this uh, incumbency is not a factor? If, if we election, reform our like electoral said. process, mm -hmm. it will not be a factor. But with this election that is, that we, we, this one with this electoral malfeasance, the electoral process is fraught with irregularities, torture, a uh, atmosphere that is not conducive for voters. To but uh, but I think that them. is the essence of the tribunal. In, in many countries in, in the world, you don't even go to queue. You stay in your house with your cell phone, you electronically vote. And most of the now, cadre there is not even recognized by our laws. How will you prove it in court? The court will tell you that it doesn't recognize cadre does. And it's a big problem because the Supreme Court has set the, uh, the precedence that cadre is not recognized. That was why Saraki uh, 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 spearheaded the drafting of the bill that the Constitution, the Electoral Act, will recognize the cadre does. And the bill was turned down by the President Mohamed Buhari led administration. All right. We will try to connect to the chief press secretary of uh, the governor. I think he's on the line calling now. Uh, 
Hello, sir. Ah, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. You are live on air on Television Nigeria, and this is a spectacle program. We are discussing the victory of uh, the governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom, yesterday. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is Tevi Akase from uh, Benue. You are calling from Benue, I guess? Yes. Okay, what is your take on this particular verdict to balance the issue? Which issue are we balancing? Uh, the verdict, how, how, how they feel right now. Is it okay? Uh, the APC is heading to uh, the AP court. What is your take? I have nothing more to say than to than what we said yesterday through our statement. The judgment of the tribunal, governorship tribunal in Benway State, has confirmed the unanimous victory that Benway people gave to their son, Samuel Otum, earlier this year to govern them for another four years. It also goes to show that the judiciary has done what is right in the eyes of the world, that Governor Samuel Otum won the election two times. And when I say two times, I mean that in the first ballot, he won, gave a gap, an unassailable gap, I accept the election was inconclusive. We accepted it and went for the second ballot. Went for for supplementary election, which the governor extended the lead over his closest challenger, the candidate of the APC in the 2019 election. So what has happened? What happened yesterday was confirmation of that decision of Benue voters who said this is the man they prefer, Governor Samuel Otum is the man they want, and not any other person for now, until 2023. So, we, 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 but the governor has already extended a hand of fellowship to his challenger in the 2019 election to join him in developing Benue State, and he said this victory is for all Benue people. It is not only for the PDP, it is not only for those who are in government, it is not even only for those who voted for him. It is victory for even those who did not vote at all in the election. It is victory for those who voted for him, victory for those who did not vote for him. So every Benue person, and even those who are not Benue indigenous, but are residing in Benue, of course they also voted. This victory is theirs, and the governor is saying, every one of our people come together. Let us develop Benue State. Benue is ours to develop. Benue does not belong to only one person. Benue does not only belong to Samuel Otom or, the, or Ben Nabono. It belongs to all of us. This is the message we are passing across, and we are saying there is no victor, no vanquished. Everybody is a winner. Even Emmanuel Jume is a winner through Samuel Otom. Because only one person would be there. So if he could have been the man with Jimmy, he could have been the pastor for, for PRP, he could have been any other person. But God said that, that God said this through Benoit people that this time it is Samuel Otom who should be there. So we are saying that look, the governor is saying I am governor because somebody has to be here. It is now time for me to be here. But that doesn't mean that all of you are left out. Every one of you come together. Let's work together to develop Benue State. All right. That is the message that you are passing across. All right. Thank you, Mr. Tevi Akasi. And you are certain that the hands of fellowship will truly be extended, assuming uh, the, the APC consented to uh, this offer. When you give a hand of fellowship to a brother, it is left for that person to accept or decline it. We have extended a hand of fellowship. And it is left for the people we have extended the hand of fellowship to. Not only Emmanuel Jimmy, we have extended... You remember that there were many contestants for the governorship in 2019. So we are extending the hand of fellowship to all the contestants. Say, so look, and with their deputies, their running mates, come together. Let's work together. So any one of them who embraces, who accepts this hand of fellowship, we are willing. The government is ready. Samuel Otum, the governor, is ready. Is ready to work with anybody who comes on board and says, look, this is Benway, this is our Benway, this is our state, okay. it is our to build and not to destroy. All right. M Mr. Tebe, what happens if the judgment from the tribunal yesterday is upturned? 
at the appeal court? What will happen? Will the governor take it? I'm sorry, I didn't get that correctly. I said, what would happen if the judgment of tribunal yesterday is obtained at the appeal court? It will not be it will not be obtained, and you know why? Why? The, the tribunal was detailed. The tribunal went from the beginning of the arguments to the very last. To a point that the lawyers on both sides were pleading with the judge, with the presiding judge, the chairman of the tribunal, to keep uh, and who were there. He would have listened to the judge. He said, if they read all what happened in the cross examination of the 59 witnesses of HC, and none of them was deemed to have that, that pre have presented evidence enough to counsel even one single poll, I mean one polling unit. So if you have 59 witnesses and none of them is able to convince the tribunal that the election did not comply with the set, the, the, the set down rules of election, would you just give judgment to such a person? All right, if the honor, All right, the honor of proof is on the person who alleges, the person who claims that something is wrong. If you say I'm a thief, it is up to you to go to court and and and, and prove that I am a thief. I am not the one to go and say I am a thief. All right. You are the one to prove that I am a thief. All right, thank so you. If, we are, if you fail we're... to do that, then the court is not for that Christmas. The court does not give you what you do not deserve. The court gives you what you deserve. All right, all right, Mr. Teve, we thank you for that wonderful take. Uh, we're actually having a, a technical hiccup here in the studio, but uh, your, your take is uh, well taken. Thank you for calling from the angle of the governor and the PDP. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, you heard him. We have no time. We have uh, run out of time. And uh, we are sorry for that break in transmission. Uh, it was due to technical hitches in the studio. We'll round up here. Uh, what is your final take? You've had the chief press secretary of the governor saying that uh, the election is victory for Benue people and that uh, they should join hands together and that, of course, that anything, the judgment going to a P court will not uh, uh, be obtained. I think uh, I will support the APC to appeal. Okay. It is good for the APC to appeal as in our jurisprudence will be... Uh, it deepened and democracy will take its course. Let them appeal. If they are, comp if they are uh, 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 confident in the appeal process, in the fact that at the appeal they will throw in a better argument, argument. to convince the judges, bring more evidence, convince them that the... All right. Thank you for that wonderful take, uh, Mr. Okay. Silvano Zope. And I thank you, audience, for listening. This is where we stop today on Spectacle Program on Television Nigeria. And uh, you can continue with us tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, and God bless you. Welcome to Spectacle on Television Nigeria. I am your host, Daniel Atai.